Good morning. Welcome to Current Scheme World. Here, let us solve a problem based on colligative properties. This problem, this kind of problems, were always asked in GATE, CSIR, and any competitive exam, JEE, NEET, JAM. This question is was asked in IIT JAM. The question is one mole of a salt of type Mx is dissolved in one kg of water. One mole of a salt of type Mx is dissolved in one kg of water. The freezing point of the solution is minus two point four degrees Celsius. Okay, the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. Therefore, there is a depression of freezing point. There is a depression of freezing point that is minus two point four degrees Celsius. Now calculate the percentage dissociation of the salt in water. What is the degree of dissociation of the salt in water? Let us write the given data in the problem. This is based on depression of freezing point. There are four. Important colligative properties: relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation of boiling point, depression of freezing point, and osmotic properties. We have already solved a few problems based on osmotic pressure. Okay, in this we will solve a problem based on depression of freezing point. Um, the freezing point of pure water is T naught. Let us take the T is the freezing point of The solution. Therefore, delta T F is equal to the depression of freezing point is equal to 2.4. In the question, they have asked the percentage dissociation of the salt, that is, degree of dissociation of the salt in water. So, in this case, one molar solution is given. So, what is one molar Mx salt solution is given? How it is uh, obtained? We know molality is equal to number of moles dissolved in one kg of solvent. That is, number of moles divided by weight in one kg. Therefore, one mole of a salt is dissolved in one kg. So, in this case, the solution concentration is one molar solution. It is a one molar solution. It is given. Okay, what is the formula for depression of freezing point? The depression of freezing point is directly proportional to molality of the solution. The depression of freezing point is directly proportional to molality of the solution concentration. If concentration is more, then there will be more depression of freezing point. Okay, so colligative properties depend on the number of molecules. Present in the solution, it depends only on the total number of molecules present in the solution. Okay, so delta T F is equal to K F into M, where K F is called a proportionality constant. It is called molar depression constant. Molar depression constant. It is equal to for water, it is one point eight degree Celsius per molar solution that is when delta tf equal to kf when m equal to 1 when molality of the solution is equal to 1 then delta tf equal to kf okay so the molar depression constant is 1.8 degree celsius per molar solution now in this case it is a salt it is so it is it, this is for non This is for non-volatile solute and also non-electrolyte. This formula is used for non-electrolyte, and this formula is used for electrolyte for ionic compounds where it undergoes dissociation or um, ion association, etc. Here, I is the Van Gogh factor, where I is the Van Gogh factor. I equal to total number of ions in one mole of dissolved salt. 
van gogh factor what is called van gogh factor for example for sodium chloride it is completely dissociated so sodium chloride gives na plus plus cl minus therefore there are two ions for one molecule there are two ions therefore i equal to 2 for strong electrolytes where there is uh, where the electrolyte is completely ionized or dissociated for, for they will ask what is the i value for calcium chloride what is the van gogh factor value for calcium chloride then calcium chloride gives calcium ion calcium ca2 plus ion plus 2 cl minus therefore there are for one molecule there are three moles of ions therefore i equal to 3 okay let us consider uh, the the salt of type mx is a weak electrolyte if it is a strong electrolyte it is completely dissociated therefore it is an equilibrium process it is a weak electrolyte it is not completely ionized okay for example even we can take acetic acid acetic acid is a weak electrolyte it is not it is dissolved but it is not completely ionized it is not completely ionized only partially ionized similarly in this case so before dis dissolution before dissolution you will have only one mole okay h plus will be m plus will be zero x minus will be zero once dissolved in solution once it is dissolved in solution because uh, the free depression of freezing point of the solution is measured okay then one minus alpha that is alpha is the degree of dissociation a fraction of the solute dissociated a fraction of the salt dissociated okay so only a fraction of this salt is ionized therefore h m m plus ion is alpha x minus is alpha now i the total number of ions present the total number of ions or molecules present in the solution is equal to here in this case only a, most of them are in the molecular state a fraction of them only dissociated that is alpha okay therefore 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha that is equal to 1 plus alpha this is the van gogh factor this is the total number of uh, molecules or ions present in the solution let us substitute in this formula now we know this is the formula for ionic compounds this is given the depression of freezing point is equal to in the first slide we have given in the previous slide we have given 2.4 equal to i equal to 1 plus alpha times 1.8 1.8 is molar depression constant for water it is constant value it is given it is um, it is um, given it will be given okay molality m equal to molality in this case one mole is dissolved in one kg therefore it is a one molar solution therefore on substituting in this formula 1 plus alpha is equal to 1.3 and alpha is equal to 0 0.3 this is the degree of dissociation for percentage dissociation just multiply by 100 therefore 30 percent 30 percent of the out of 100 30 percent is dissociated okay for one one mole one mole one molecule 0 0.3 is dissociated for 100 molecule then into 100 therefore 30 percentage thank you guys for watching 